Hi guys, in this episode of Ready K, I'm gonna be reacting to a boy group that for whatever reason I've kind of been ignoring or overlooking and not really reacting to, even though I've seen their name many times and I feel like I've considered reacting to them many times, that being the group We I um, and all of their songs that they've released so far, which are about five. But since there are five songs, we're gonna to have to split it into videos. So in this video, we're gonna be reacting to their first three songs which are Twilight, All or Nothing, and Bye Bye Bye. And I'm curious what is the reason that I've been overlooking them. From the little bit that I skimmed over on Wikipedia, it seems like this group is one of those post-X1 uh, boy groups, which don't really tend to have a sound that I like. I mean, I didn't really like the post... Uh, one-on-one boy groups, uh, let alone these ones, and I feel like back when X1 was uh, still a thing, I really didn't like the sound that they had, it didn't really entertain me, so I'm curious, where does, is this group going to stand uh, in that regard? Is it gonna be something you're gonna like, at least a little bit, with the trend that we seem to have seen today in this recording session, where I've recorded like 20 songs, like uh, 20, 20 videos again, um, I've really been disappointed by a lot of releases today, so honestly my expectations are pretty low right now, so as long as it's both uh, mediocre in terms of catchiness, I'm gonna be satisfied. But there's only one way to find out whether that's gonna be the case, so without further ado, we're gonna be getting into this, though I don't wanna say, usually I react to music videos twice, because they're music videos and because usually the songs are more complex and might require a second listen, but because there's five uh, songs in this, uh, well, I guess in this video is gonna be three songs. Um, I'm gonna be reacting maybe to some of them twice if I feel like it, because I'm already pretty tired because of all the videos that I've recorded today. So I just wanted to be done with this, and I'm, I'm gonna try to get to it as quick as possible while still giving you an entertaining video. So yeah, let's start off the reaction with Twilight in three, two. One. I can definitely see why I haven't been interested in reacting to this song, at least. It's not that it's bad. It's that for me and my tastes in K-pop, it comes off as bland. Again, I don't want to hate on, on to it or anything. I'm just saying. I really like the music video though, it's very colorful. Oh, 
I definitely found uh, one of the uh, what could be potentially the thumbnail for this uh, video. But yeah, um, this is definitely gonna be one of those songs that I'm gonna not be reacting to a second time. Not because it's bad, I think it's actually mildly entertaining, but it's definitely a little too bland for me to really truly uh, like it. I think it's, like I said, mildly catchy. I like the motive of like the whistles in this song. And it entertained me decently, but it there wasn't just enough to really... Uh, satisfy me. I needed something a little bit more explosive or something a little bit rough around the edges. It's just that these kind of songs, which I guess is the reason why uh, I haven't checked out this group before, it's just too bland for me. It's not bad, it's just not really my kind of stuff. I like more, for lack of a better term, grungy. I like more rough around the edges, hard hitting and in your face kind of song. But this is very chill and very boppy and very polished up which if you enjoy it, that's completely fine i'm not saying you can't enjoy it i'm just saying that it's not my thing but still we have two more songs in this video alone to see whether we are actually going to get something that is more along uh, my taste hopefully we will get something if we don't then at least I'll know for whenever they come back again that I'm not gonna be reacting to them unless you guys obviously want me to uh, depending on the reception towards this video we could continue reacting to them but we'll see so yeah um in terms of a rating for this song I'm also gonna give it an 8 out of 10 it's solid 8 out of 10 it's good enough it's your typical k-pop song what is else there to say? I think they did it fine. I feel like the rapping was a little bit shoved in into the song. It didn't feel like it fit, nor was it really that satisfying, but it wasn't bad or anything. I just feel like I could have done without it. Uh, but to be honest, whether it was there or wasn't, isn't really gonna improve the song in any way for me, personally. Objectively, I think it's a pretty fine song. I think most people will enjoy it. It's just that for me, it doesn't really tickle my senses in the right ways. But yeah, still we have a couple more songs to check out. The next one being All or Nothing in 3, 2, 1. Okay, that feels like a very big shift in their music. I like the instrumental. Okay, definitely le this definitely leans more towards my taste. Okay, this pre chorus is actually pretty good. Okay, this is a massive improvement already. Okay, this one definitely still has some issues in regards of uh, feeling... Uh, it feels a little bit too all, all over the place still. And not focused enough, but I, I definitely like it. It definitely engages me more. Also, I don't know who the producer of this song, uh, who's called Jang Ge Hyun is, but he did a really good song, for sure. This 
This one is definitely getting a second listen, for sure. Ooh, that was a cool shot. And this one is very intense. It's such a shift compared to Twilight. I feel like this song is definitely gonna get some replay from me. Just from the simple fact that it's so goddamn intense. So many good shots in, in already these two music videos and I'm really gonna struggle picking up uh, for a, th a thumbnail for this video because I'll probably have to edit uh, uh, one guy from each of these music videos to put on the thumbnail. Probably that's what the kind of thumbnail I'm gonna go for because usually that's what I do when I have like two or three songs from the same group to react to. But yeah, um, definitely much better. Definitely miles ahead. In terms obviously of my personal opinion, this just appeals to me much more. It doesn't mean that this is necessarily objectively better because I'm sure a lot of people will say that they preferred what uh, they were with the previous song because a lot of people complain about noise music. Um, but I like it. I really, really like it. It's so much better. It's just so much more satisfying for me. Um, it's not my favorite noise song or anything like that, but it's definitely a good one for sure. So yeah, there's that. And obviously we're going to be reacting to it a second time, so let's go again in 3, 2, 1. Oh, their name is We I. Wasn't that what I was saying? Man, this is what Stray Kids' Maniac should have been. Or should I say, this is what Maniac essentially is. Which is why I, I don't like it as much as I should be. Or as much as I thought. I don't like this pre-chorus, man. This is so much better. Man, the rapper is also so much better in this one. And there's also like three rappers all of a sudden. You know, visually this group reminds me of a, a combination between Stray Kids and 80s. Man, 
Man, I love how intense this is. Okay, so this is still not like a 10 out of 10, but it's goddamn close to it, for sure. This is so good. It still has a little bit stuff to be worked on in terms of its catchiness, because I feel like it's still not as catchy as it should be, but on first listen, it was more entertaining and I was more into it than I was for, like, uh, Stray Kids' uh, uh, Maniac, which was released, uh, like, a few days ago. So, I think that just speaks how bad that song is and how good this one is, so there's that. Um, in terms of rating, I'm actually gonna give it like a 9.6 out of 10. I think this is a really good song, it's definitely going uh, on my playlist. The closest comparison I can make with this song is definitely uh, Two Ones, uh, No More X, I think the name of the song was, uh, that I reacted to relatively recently. Um, and yeah, it's very similar because both this and that song have a really sick breakdown uh, towards the end of the song that I really, really like. So yeah, this song gets a pass for me. And it's such a shift from Twilight, there's no way they're gonna keep that going. There's just no way. So without further ado, let's get into the next song. Bye, bye, bye in 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's still better than Twilight. Okay, they've definitely improved a lot compared to Twilight, man. Holy shit. It's like night and day. Like again, I actually like this song. This reminds me of 80s as Wave. And I'm sorry that I'm comparing them a lot, but that's kinda how I learn new things by comparing them to all things that I like. Man, the rapping has gotten so much better. Like, was Twilight even the same group? Man, this actually might be better than All or Nothing. Holy shit.
Okay. As much as I like this one, uh, it's not gonna be getting a second listen. Uh, mainly because we're so close to the end, I just want to be done with my reactions for today. But honestly, this is very enjoyable. This is definitely their objectively best song. All or Nothing is still like my personal favorite because it's a, no a hard hitting rap heavy noise song. I cannot hate a song like that. But this is definitely objectively the better song. It feels more polished uh, at what it's trying to do. It feels like it handles what it's trying to do much better. Whereas All or Nothing felt a little forced, but overall still pretty good. But that's why this one is gonna get a 10 out of 10, while All or Nothing only got a 9.6. But man, what an improvement, two songs in, and they're already so much better. Now I'm really excited for their most recent comeback, uh, Too Bad, which is gonna be, uh, sadly, uh, gonna be seen in the next Raid Decay episode. But yeah, I'm honestly uh, pleasantly surprised how much I actually enjoy this group already. I mean, two out of the three songs that I've checked out, I've actually liked quite a lot, so it's a pretty good track record. But... We still have two more songs to check out, so we gotta end this video. But yeah, if you guys want me to check out some B-sides from uh, Wii, uh, or Wei, I forgot how it's pronounced, uh, definitely make sure to comment that down below so you can let me know that there's a demand for a reaction like that, or potentially maybe if these videos get a lot of views, I can do that as well. Because uh, right now, I wouldn't mind doing some B-side reactions from them, but I'm not really too into uh, that prospect because I haven't really been blown away enough to really make me want to check out uh, their b-sides definitively but I'll, I'm definitely open to the idea so it's really up to you at the end of the day and also before we end this video I just want to give a huge shout out to my currently three patrons on Patreon Omar Richman, Deadpool and Shenches Thank you guys for the support, I really appreciate it, it really means a lot to me that you have decided to support me, you have continued to support me for such a long time, I hope you continue to enjoy my content, you continue to support me going forward, thank you very much. Another thing that I also want to tell you guys before we end this video is something about me that some of you may or may not know, that will always explain why do I look and dress the way that I do, that being the fact that I am trans. In particular, I am somewhere between a non-binary person and a trans woman. I'm not quite sure at the moment and probably won't be sure until I talk to a professional who deals with trans people, but that is where the reason why I'm telling you all this comes. I need your help. Due to the fact that I live in a homophobic and transphobic Eastern European country with a family that won't really accept the fact that I'm trans if they found out, there is not really a feasible or easy way for me to transition here with minimal repercussions. So that's why I would really, really appreciate any kind or any amount of support that you guys can give me with this. That said, I don't want to guilt trip you or anything, so if you don't want to or you don't have the means to help out, that's fine, don't feel bad. I just want you to know that it would be greatly appreciated if you did help me out get out of this situation. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and thank you for hearing me out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me over there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos for my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you don't enjoy my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to my Patreon or to my Coffee account where I can pledge your support and help get the channel going, help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways like liking this video, subscribing to the channel and especially sharing this video with someone who you think might enjoy it. And I think this is pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye!